Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, welcome to Utopia 9, a volatile vacation. It is a roguelite, top-down arena shooter, uh, with some level progression, some, um, upgrades and things like that that you can get, really, really cool, and obviously, uh, you can see the broken-ass ships that are around here. There was once a tourist in each and every one of them, but, uh, they met a fate. A fate worse than death. And, uh, we're here to send Taurus number six here to his death. You can see a hundred health on the bottom left, which, uh, is, uh, helpful, but it never seems to be enough. It's definitely a difficult game. I don't want to take any hits early on in the level, just because, uh, it'll hurt me later. Definitely, definitely. So, um, the stuff that I'm collecting from these guys is called Soylent. Obviously, you have, uh... A weapon equipped to left click and a weapon equipped to right click. Um, and then I also have a special ability, which is boom, camera flash. And that can just stun people for a second, but they do have all kinds of stuff like grenades. It's really, really a, a fun game, but also quite difficult, which I think is a fine combination. Reminds me a bit of Nuclear Throne, um, although there are only two characters at the moment a tour, a tourist, and a tour guide. And the tour guide I have not yet unlocked. So there's uh, my melee attack. Hitting people with my briefcase. That'll do just fine. And finish. Finishing blow. And I did uh, take a, a hit from a bullet somewhere in there. I'll see what's in this weapons crate. Might be good. Ray gun. That's pretty cool. Bam. Yeah. And I like how it's got the uh, little sight, so you can line things up, kind of. But obviously it is a, a two-handed weapon. And now I do have enough Soylent to mutate my character just a little bit. So again, this is kind of like Nuclear Throne. Um, you get the randomized upgrades and things like that. Ammo Absorption, Fast Fingers, sounds pretty good. Expedious Extremities, obviously really, really important for a bullet hell game, so... I will take Expedious Extremities and start to move just... A little bit faster. There's a jump button, although uh, it doesn't see too much use, at least not in the early levels. And I was hoping I could get some uh, some health. There's a little bit. Hmm, how about this? Maybe we could buy something. Spray on lenses. Keep your eyes open. 20% ammo gain, minus weapon spread. I don't have any spread weapons at the moment, so I will take that. Very nice. And I think you get travel points for each, um, tourist that comes to the planet. Now here we have the map. Obviously you can, uh, find different things. Explosive weapons here, explosive weapons there, melee weapons, shell weapons, bullet weapons. Here we have, uh, cybernetic police officer Alec Murphy, as you can see up in this corner. And, uh, that is somebody who has defeated one of my tourists previously. So I will head down this path, so hopefully I can get my stuff back. But, uh, I don't remain too hopeful because there are some nasty, nasty fellows hanging around here. That's gonna be alright. It's gonna be just fine. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Those are red barrels. Um, they explode. I was hoping to get a yellow barrel. There. There's a little something. That's quite nice. Oh my god. All right, everything's fine. And uh, get my my awesome blaster out. Line them up, knock them down. There we go. Thought he was gonna get me. Not quite. Now, obviously, the uh, gameplay in this game is uh. A little slow. It's not as fast-paced as something like Nuclear Throne, but I think that's a positive thing. At least in my opinion. Somebody who has uh, quite some difficulty with Nuclear Throne. However, once you get to the later stages, it uh, gets a little harder to deal with. Some... some bullets. And obviously your pickups um, are extremely important in this game. 
Boo. Okay, that's not working. Hey. I do rather like that melee attack. And there, you saw the pickups uh, starting to disappear. So you want to be in the right, the right place at the right time. Wow. Damn, he got me with that sniper. Maybe I can just, uh, like this. Hey. There's some Soylent. Soylent for the Dayton. I want to get all this. Back up just a little bit. My health is definitely low. I have some trouble on this level, even though their, their bullets are, uh, exceedingly slow. Four bullets, at least. There we go, twofer. That'll work. I just want to get all of the shit that they drop. Much Soylent. There we go. Knock them out with my briefcase. Now, um, some buildings do have doors. This one had a door way down here, I think. Something probably around here. But you're not able to go in it if it's facing that way. You can only go indoors that are facing the camera, which I think is kind of a weird choice, but... I won't disparage it. I really do like the game for what it is so far, and uh, hopefully some new goodies will be added to the game. And I'll enjoy that quite a bit. All right, didn't take a hit there. Now we gotta take out the big bunny. Okay, none of that, please. And you can see his armor's falling off slowly. They do have a name. Um, it says somewhere in the achievements. So there is some lore to this game, which I think is pretty cool. Camera flash. Yeah! Saved my life. Alright, mixed crate. What do you got for me? Just a small shield. I guess I will drop my briefcase in favor of that. Or suitcase. That's right. Briefcases are different. Briefcases are for work. Suitcases are for vacation. I guess. Hmm. Hmm. No health in there. Unfortunate. The health drops are really, really scarce in this game, so I'm gonna have to be super careful. Although now I do have a shield, so that should uh, absorb a little bit of damage for me. You can see the circle around the shield, and at some point, uh, the circle will, will go bye-bye, and the shield will be broken. But I'm sure that I'll find something to replace it. Come here, you. Yeah. There is just a little bit of spread on the uh, on the pistol shots, which is troubling, but it's nothing that can't be dealt with. I will go ahead and here to mutate. What do we have now? Locust legs allows you to make a quick side jump every 1.5 seconds. Liquor liberator. Liquor bottles that heal four health points. That actually sounds good, but 10% drop is kind of low. Excess energy. Energy weapons can be charged. And I do have uh, an energy weapon, although it's almost out of ammo. I guess I'll take uh, a further mobility trait, and we'll see how that works. Quick side jump. How do I activate it? I'm a little confused on that front. But I think it's okay. We'll figure it out, or we won't. Hmm. All right, everybody, get down! It doesn't seem like this beam weapon is piercing, which I thought it was. So that's a bit of a shame. I was able to shield bash that guy and stun him for just a minute which was helpful to get the kill. I just took another bullet on my shield. Durability dropping slightly. Oh, and again. Damn, damn, damn! All right, I'll shoot these uh, vending machines so I can get just a little more Soylent. It's worth a bullet, at least in my opinion. Come on. Hey, get out of here, you. I'm missing him from like fucking couple feet away. That's okay, little tourist. You're doing the best you can. I know it. There's a little bit of health. 
precious, precious health. It is so scarce in this game, but that's okay. I got some shield repair, which was nice. And uh, I unlock a smart gun, which seems pretty cool. Um, I'm not quite sure what it does, but I don't want to waste the ammo trying to find out. So we'll find an enemy to test it out on. And again, it is a, a two-hander. Oh! Once you hit somebody, you can right-click and uh, get some homing bullets. That is why there are two types of ammo. Damn! Oh, one is the tracking, and then the other is uh, for the homing bullets. I see. Quite helpful. Is it gonna help me out in this uh, little little dungeon? I sure hope so. It actually does quite well. <laughs> and obviously uh, those chairs were blocking my path, but I was able to blow them up relatively quickly. Yes, small med kit, 20 health. That is gonna be a big, big help. Um, no complaints. I would have liked the larger med kit, but this is what we get for now. And there's just uh, a pinch more health. So we're back up to 61. Things, uh, things are not completely hopeless yet. Oh my god. Okay, stick that guy. Oh, I guess the smart shot only lasts for, uh, one shot. Maybe two. That'll do just fine. Uh-oh. Hey, I do like how it curves around, though. That's pretty neato. Neato Frito Bandito, man! And if I could just, uh, work my way through the stage, nice and slow, not taking more hits than I need to, I remain hopeful. Hey, buddy. That'll work just fine. It is a little, uh... A little janky for the close quarters combat. I think I should probably save it for long range bits. Here, explosive weapons, health, and utility. Energy weapons, armor, and shield. I will try and get the uh, weapons that I had back from the cybernetic police officer, Alec Murphy. But uh, since he got the equipment from my tourist, he is gonna be a big bad motherfucker. That is for sure. Bam, bam. There's a little flame, frame rate droppage. Wait for that to smooth out. This game is in early access, so uh, that is an excusable thing. But I hope that it gets fixed soon because this is on the uh, the lowest resolution, the lowest um, the lowest uh, graphics quality as well. And I'm running a GTX 970, so. I assume anybody that plays the game is going to probably have just a little bit of a graphics droppage and things like that. But it's okay. Nothing we can't deal with, that's for sure. Oh, there I took a hit. Damn. Please leave me alone. Alright. Quite difficult with the uh, frame rate drop especially. So I'm just trying to uh, hide out for a minute. There we go. I guess because there's uh, many enemies on this level or something like that, I wasn't experiencing it during the first two levels. Although I was when I had the uh, the graphics up higher. This would be my second time recording this episode. So I apologize if I repeat myself. And there's uh, Alec Murphy. Holy shit. Oh fuck. Stay away. He does have a mine launcher, so I'm gonna have to watch for those mines. He did drop one over there. So I'll just have to be mindful of it. And he's got a shotgun as well. Oh my god. That's just horrifying. Please fall. Please die. Holy fuck. Just use my camera to slide on by. And uh, this place is filling up with mines kinda quickly. So, I'm hoping that he goes down. Go down! There we go. Smart gun is uh, just a little bit smarter. Oh, and he also has a med kit. 
which mm. I definitely need. So we're slowly creeping up, getting our health back. I will take this mine launcher, and uh, I do have a shotgun somewhere here. Oh, that's a two-hander. He was able to pick up my two-hander. Well, we'll try out the shotgun. Smart gun, not great for close quarters. Um, and I will drop my shield in favor of this mine launcher, since it is a, a one-handed weapon. And those mines are still active, so I'm gonna try and not to, uh, not to activate them. Come over here. Hey, fellas. And obviously the closer you are with the shotgun, the more damage you're gonna do to people. Oh my god. Everything's okay. Everything's awesome. Dead, dead, dead. I'm surprised that barrel didn't blow up. <laughs> I thought I did tag it just a little bit. And boo! That'll do just fine. I really do like the uh, environmental hazards and things like that in this game. It gives the game a really good feel. Um, right at mine launcher. Yeah! Everybody dead! Boop boop! Well, I did get him. Not as well as I had hoped. But I think I also missed that Soylent because I was uh, farting around over here. That's alright. That's alright. We'll check out this uh, this little place. And mines! How's that? Oh shit! That is quite a hurdy thing. Yep, that's the uh, gun that I had a little earlier. And I currently can't get him because he's standing on the bed. Which is troubling. Maybe I could do it with the, uh, the mine launcher. There you go. Hey! How's that, suckle? Here's another mixed crate. Oh, a padded suit. Here's some clothing, which is the, uh, the final part of the equation as far as the equipment loadout goes. So you got, uh, two slots, four slots for weapons, technically. And then, uh, a special and some clothing. So, I'm definitely glad to have some clothing, although it doesn't increase my HP cap or anything like that. These mines do take a, a bit longer than they should to arm, but I guess that's so you can get away from them. And I don't have that many left. Okay. Oh god. Please, please, no! They can also blow up the explosive barrels, so it's uh, good to be aware. Aware of where they are. Yeah! And there we get our third mutation. Doing better than I did in the last run, thankfully. More ammo from ammo crates. Ammo absorption. Ammo crates heal you for two hit points. I think that's probably a good idea. Just so we can last a little bit longer. And there they are, all swirly, swirly whirly. I really like the colors in this game. That is one thing that uh, Nuclear Throne didn't necessarily offer. Is uh, a colorful palette. Oh god. Everything's okay. My padded suit seems to be all worn out. And I just took another hit. Which ain't no good. But I'll keep farming that Soylent. Soylent Pink. The delicious drink. I think it says that somewhere. Somewhere in the game. And I thought it was quite funny when I first heard it. Uh oh. Nope. Please don't. How's that? Boop boop. Oh my god. We're dealing with quite some shit now. I gotta stay on the move. Alright. Getting a little low on ammo. A little lower than I would like. Boop boop. Yeah! Fuck him up! Kick his ass, sea bass! That'll do. Oh my god. I've got quite a few fellas over here. 
trying to cause some trouble. It's all right. We took out the big guy. And I do like that the uh, the shotgun has a little bit of a cooldown. You need to cock it every time. And you can hear the sound so you know when the cooldown is over. Ooh. That was a close one. I'm gonna chase this fella down. Hey! Hey, you! Oh. Now my shotgun's out. That ain't good. But I did get those guys, and I think that is uh, nearing the exit of the level. So I'm gonna go in here and see if I can get a replacement for the shotgun. And obviously some uh, some baddies in here as well. As per usual. Just keep it going. Those mines are quite effective. Taking dudes down post haste. And uh, there's another small shield. I'm almost out of ammo for the mine launcher. I did get a little more ammo for the shotgun. Mm. It's a hard call to make. I think I'm gonna stick with my loadout and uh, just try and conserve the ammo that I have as best I can. Oh my god, where did you come from? Jesus! That boy got a taser. Where you get a taser, Bo? Well, got him a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's gonna work nice. And uh, luckily I did get an ammo crate, so I replaced the mine that I used. And this guy thinks he's gonna be fucking slick. Ain't gonna happen. Could you get out of there? Thanks so much. <laughs> Hooray, we made it to yet another district with some explosive weapons, so I will go. I will go and see what it holds. I really, really like Utopia 9. It's got uh, quite a laid-back feel to it. This is actually as far as I've been in the game. The fourth area. What the fuck? I guess those are explosives. Good to know. We'll keep a note of it. Oh my god. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Astix. Please, please no shoot. Please, frame rate. Be okay. You're gonna be okay. Boop boop. Boop boop. That'll work. Oh, but he dropped a mine of his own. I did not notice it at all. Shit. That's alright. We could take the hit. We could take the hit. Just try not to take another one. And there's a weapon crate over there. Oh, there's my uh, sideways jump. I just have to hold a direction and then use the jump button. So that's probably going to come in pretty handy pretty shortly. And now we're out of ammo for that. Ow! I think it does hurt me just a little bit. Okay. No mines. No mines, no yours. Okay, go away from that. Maybe I can get another weapon up here before he comes to, uh, to destroy me. Oh, Medium shield. I will take this. Seems a little better than the small shield. Probably, uh, gonna offer me some, some longevity, some much needed longevity. And, uh, he's got a mine launcher over there. Should blow this thing up, probably. Splodies. Splodies for you! There we go, no problem. Oh, I really don't like these guys with the mine launchers. Quite foul. Just kind of kite them around. Avoid the mines. <laughs> oh my god. It's definitely getting a, a little more hectic now. I would like to- I would have liked an explosive weapon. Or any other kind of weapon. Okay. Go, go, go. Now we cleared that spot. Good. Um... I got my shotgun. Guess we could see what that do. And that do okay. Okay. 
Yeah, beat him to death with that empty shotgun. And now I am seriously out of, uh, out of weapons. So that's not good. We'll try the ventilation vent. Hey, there's a little something. I'll break this with my shotgun. Very nice, a little more health. And more weapons. I will take it. And what do you have for me, Crate? Power suit. That will increase my health to 30, but uh, unfortunately I need to fill the health in order for that to take effect. Oh shit. Oh my god, I think I'm dead. No, it just broke my, my power suit. But it would have killed me. I'm about 90% sure on that. Oh my god. And there are so many assholes here. Wow. Oh god, fuck shit! Alright. I can do it. I can do it! I think he blew himself up with his mind launcher. So that was, uh, the grace of some, some higher being, I think. And I've got about one hit left in me. Shit. I'm gonna be so out of ammo. Okay, now we're out of ammo. Gotta get over here. Shotgun shells. Boo! And a little more ammo. Fuck, we are just scraping by. I've got 12 health. But uh, I'm pretty satisfied with the run so far. I'm really, really liking Utopia. Utopia 9. It is quite a volatile vacation, however. Oh my god. Damn. 8 health. Jesus. Yeah, I definitely need to keep this shield in front of me. God damn. Oh my god. I've got one health left. So friends, this has been Utopia 9, Volatile Vacation. I do hope that you've enjoyed the episode. If you like it, please don't hesitate to go check it out. It is on uh, Steam currently. And... Uh, Really, really quite fun if you enjoy the top-down shooter kind of genres. Oh my god. I don't even know what killed me. <laughs> if you do, remember to like, comment, and or subscribe on this episode, but please only if you enjoy the content. I will send you a lamp. You can go uh, camping and shit. And Xenobotanist Dr. Carrington got all my gear. That's okay. Now he can go camping too. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, friends. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my final best. And personal best. <laughs> and until the next time, bye bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again.